Get ready to match the stars. Gary Collins, Brett Summers, Dick Martin, from Angie, Deborah Lee Scott, Bill Daly, and Betty White as we play the stars of the Big Money Match Game. And now, here's the star of Match Game, Gene. It's twindy time. That's right, we're both brown there. Oh, nifty looking sweater. That's what I sold us off of Edmund Gwynn when he was dying. Is the last time. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the bad I taste know, I of war. Oh, who's Edmund like Gwynn? Yeah, who's Edmund Gwynn? Who's Edmund Gwynn? Oh, that's Edmund right. Gwynn. People know who Edmund Gwynn is. You know, she's Edmund young. Gwynn. Remember, she's young. Miracle, she's miracle on 34th Street. Street. Yeah. Yeah. He, he played Santa, Santa Claus. Oh, I know him. Sure. Right. He's so good. Yeah. Now let me do that. That's right. He's the judge. This is Edmund Gwynn's old sweater. Gene Lockhart is in that. Right. It's funny when they don't know who it is, isn't it? Yeah, this is no, Nick Nolte's favorite yeah, sweater. Yeah, oh, I know him. Snooky Lanson wore this with the Russell arms and had their... Costume. You're dying. <laughs> Just forget it and go on. Yes, Are you go quite on. I got a ready on a sweater. No Carry on. on. Let's greet Kathy Robinson and Alice Turner over yeah. here. Now, you're not nervous, right? This is your second day and you are not nervous. No way. <laughs> she won the first game and she has $500. And uh, she's a mother of two children, right? Right. And uh, Alice is the mother of four children, some of whom are here. How many are here? Two. Two of them are here. What are their names? Sharon and Karen. Okay, Sharon and Karen. Isn't that Hi, nice? Sharon. We're in the middle of round one here in game number two. Alice has had her question. Kathy, you can have A or B. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 Tom said. Tom said, yes. This restaurant must be owned by the Godfather. Yeah. They just served me pheasant under blank. Kathy, Tom said, this restaurant must be owned by the Godfather. They just served me pheasant under blank. Under the table? Huh? Under the, under the table. table. What'd she say? Under the Godfather. Oh. She said under the table. Oh. The Godfather. Oh, you know who he was? Yes. Uh -huh. mm. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it's very difficult. I know. What do you got? Well, fortunately, I have my Cornell Wild blue sweater on today. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you get a pheasant with its back against the wall, but I did say it came under bulletproof glass. Under bulletproof glass. Yes. Oh, that's good. good. Pheasant oh, under glass. You're just on the make, kid. <laughs> I Can we get said, four chairs up here? I said, uh, present. Present. <laughs> I tell you, uh, wearing a retainer on the air doesn't work. Yes. Neither present under casket. Thank present you. Present under casket. <laughs> One smart, clever, subtle, and I'm wearing my Hunt's Hall coat here. Your Hunt's Hall coat? Yes. Yes. I don't need it. <laughs> present <laughs> under bulletproof glass. Hey, I have two of those so the far and one casket. I like bulletproof glass. Really? Kathy's yeah. answer is under the table. I didn't say that either. Pheasant under... It's a concrete. Concrete! Sure. There's a definitive answer. That's good. Thank you. Definitive it is. I have the definitive all. Yes, you do. This doesn't make any sense at all. It just says, right, you can boo me if you want. Uh, under a dead waiter. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, they they first step for the Edmund Gwynn yeah. sweater joke. They thought it was great, Bill. <laughs> Jane Frazee used to wear this color. <laughs> Jane Frazee? <laughs> Bulletproof glass. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You Who sure? Was Jane one of my Frizzy? Jane Frazee. <laughs> You're too young. She was the one that did that hair commercial. <laughs> All right. Did see Look Magic? So where are we? Yeah, the score is tied. And since Alice went first last time, Kathy will ask you to go first this time. B. Second and final round, ladies. Fat Frida is so fat. How fat is she? She has a separate room in her house just for her blank. <laughs> That's how fat she is. <laughs> <laughs> I see your point. Well, you can't have a little bit of know, before going, you know. You know. Gary, are you trying to break Charles Nelson Riley's oh, no, record? No. Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fat Frida is so fat, she has a separate room in her house just for her blank. Husband. Just for her husband. Oh, that's cute. I didn't say it. Just for her that husband. Doesn't make any sense. I like it. Now, Kathy, what we had in mind was some part of her anatomy, <laughs> really. Well, he's Frida was so fat. So fat. How I fat mean, was it? They had to have a special room for her rumple seat. Rumple seat. Rumple seat. 
Interesting. It was around Easter at the time. It was, and so she had to have a separate room for her hot cross buns. Her buns. <laughs> <laughs> the French derriere. Uh -huh. hey. All right. So we have two of those and one of his. Deborah Lee. Well, uh -huh. she was very egotistical and she had a fat head. Uh -huh. There's a separate room Deborah. in her house just for a head. Fat Oops. head. Yeah. Don't tally with that. This doesn't yeah. look that oh, bad right let's now. Let's just Thank pie pass. Go to Bill. Go to Bill. Uh, uh, I went for her chins. I went for for her chins. You're lucky I said what I said. You're right. I wanted to say this. Why didn't you? What do you got there, Betty? I'm just reminiscing. I was thinking back to match game 73 when everything was boobs, remember? Yeah. But we haven't had one boob. Well, two boobs. Yeah. Well, you tummy. only have one. That's <laughs> tummy. 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 Right. So, now, Tommy, Alice, uh, uh, one, we get to you. All you have to do is match one to win the game. But first, before we do anything, we're going to do this message for you. Here we go. Last question. Final round. Here, we, here it is. Mr. and Mrs. Weird Willie are so weird. How weird are, weird are Mr. and Mrs. You're Willie? You're running out of steam. <laughs> timing is... Yes. <laughs> So what's you're asking somebody how what's the uh, secret of, uh, ask me what the secret of show well, You ask me, I get the joke. You're the friend of Nobody wants to do it. What, do. Is do. Do. Right, what is the secret to your great time? You blew it. <laughs> <laughs> you blew it. Want to try that again? What is the uh, secret to By the way, Gene, what is your secret timing. to your great timing? Okay. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, this is me and Weird Willie are so weird, they're the only couple in the world who likes to blink in wet cement. <laughs> yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Weird Willie. Oh. Only couple in the world who likes okay, to blink in wet cement. Well, oh, right. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Weird Willie are so weird they're the only couple in the world who likes to blink in wet cement. Make love. <laughs> Just the two daughters. Let's hear it. <laughs> Where are you when we need you? Okay, That's thank you. That's my kind audience. Right. Yes, it is. Right, right. She just needs one of those to win the game, Gary. What have you got? I smell victory. <laughs> <laughs> Fool around. Fool around. All right, that wins it. What the rest of you have? That's the wrong name. Okay, I'll well, show you that. Now, Kathy is leaving here with a total of $500 in her best wishes. Right here on the blue dot at Kathy. Now, let's see how much money you're going to win here. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Good for you. Good luck to you, Alice. Here we go. We polled a studio audience and said, write down your best answer to this. Yeah. Blankography. Blankography. Oh, for matching their most popular answer, you will get $500. For the second most popular answer, $250. Then if you match a third, you get $100. And I've been talking slow to give them a chance to think up an answer. <laughs> Let's step down here where you can see everybody's name and look at all of their faces. Call on three, one at a time. They're all looking at you. She doesn't no. recognize any of us, you see. She, she doesn't recognize any of us. Who are these six she people? I never name. saw them before. Deborah Lee. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we said when yeah. I won, not when she picks the person. Would you please sit in the front row? Photography. <laughs> Photography. Yes. That's Deborah Lee. Uh, Bill. Geography. Geography is Bill. Just jump, uh, like that. Uh, uh, that. Betty. That's top. That's a top answer. Topography. Topography. Okay, uh, topography. I geography. In porn. And I photography. I in bio. Now you can Pornography. choose one of those. <laughs> Hush up over there. Oh, it's Hush up over there. We're trying to clean up Times Square and here you're oh. making all you of it. You can't be serious well. on this tier. Photography. Photography is oh. the one that Deborah Lee gave her. Let's find out if it's up there. And if hey. so, where? Keep Maybe your we booze see the $100 yourself. number. Ichthyology. Photography oh. it is. You got it right off the bat. No one to listen to me. Your, a, your answer Eight is... Eight to five, it's porn. Never. 
I'll bet you a buck right now it's not, that's <laughs> not going to be a... You don't think number five is going to be pornography? It's not going to be pornography. Ah, Did you, you get what's the next one? Before? Oh, 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 it's getting closer. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh, I've got a geography. It's a G. Bio. Pornography. G. Geography. I got it. What do you think? I'll take my bow now. Porn. Oh, biography. I'll take my bow. These are refugees from a pussycat theater. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see the big one. Geography. Oh. Bill Daly yeah, was right look at the along. one above. Yeah. Look at that, it's super. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You oh, must okay. have had a Dick bunch Martin of people from quits. Salt Lake City in here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, at least you've boys, got $100, he... Alice. It means at least you'll play for his 10 times that amount or $1,000. However, we do want you to spin the star wheel and see if you can double it and play for 2000 So step, step up there and have a go at it. And good luck to you. Remember, it must make one revolution. Give it a spin. There we go. Double. Big. Double. Double. Be here a week. Double. Double. Welcome to you, Bill. Bill Daly coming up. You doubled it. Yeah, doubled I doubled it. Good doubled for you. <laughs> so that means you're playing for $2,000 instead of $1,000. Good luck to you. Mm. Ready, Gare? Yes, You'll sir. write yours and she'll give me a verbal response when I call for it. This is it. Attack blank. Attack blank. You can look at it if you'd like. All right, Gary's finished. Now you have to give us the same answer that he does. You do. Why, you get $2,000. Attack. Yeah, what I put. Only you. Now. Attack now. Oh. What, 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 would, what would the kids have said down there? What would you have said down there? Dog, attack dog. Gary, what have you got there? I didn't know this was going to be brain busters. Dog. Attack yeah. dog. Yeah. Well, listen, you've got $100. $100, and that ain't bad, and our best wishes. Thank you for being with us here. Alice Turner, now this message for you, America. Let's all welcome Rhonda Grumman and Gene Condi. Here we go. We'd like to get to know a little bit about each of you. We'll begin with you, Rhonda, if you please. Okay. I'm uh, Rhonda Grumman. I'm a third, fourth grade school teacher with math. Oh, wait a minute. Are you a third or a fourth grade school? Make up your mind. Third and fourth. Oh, third and fourth. Third and fourth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with the master's in administration supervision, and I hope to someday soon be a principal. Uh, I'm married to an attorney and have a very active 16-month-old... Oh, rats. 16-month-old <laughs> son named Sean. Hi, Sean. Hello, Sean. Sean. Thank you. Uh, say hello to Dean. He'll like that. <laughs> He's a silly man, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Go to sleep, Sean. You don't like attorneys, eh? What's your problem out there? Oh, she's married. Oh. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted, you know, to comfort right. them. I'm married, but I mess around. Right. <laughs> That's not good for sports, guys. You know that. Now let's find out about Gene Cotty. I'm uh, married for 12 years. I have an uh, eight-year-old daughter, and oh, I work for a foreign airline. <laughs> Very happy. 18 years with them. 18 years with a foreign airline. Right. All right. What do you do? Do you sit behind a desk? Yes, sir. I do. Behind a All desk. Right, sir. Good I, luck. They will trust me up front. Yeah. <laughs> a or B, Rhonda? Go with A for Apple. For the a teacher. for Apple. She's apple right. for the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can tell this is going to be heads up. <laughs> right. This right. Yeah. On this date. This date. In 1974, yeah. Irving Bricklemeyer hey. oh, became, yeah. became the first man ever to cross a gas station attendant's picket line. Gas station. With what? <laughs> <laughs> That's coming up. <laughs> oh, I love you sometimes. Uh, on this same date, 
Mr. Bricklemeyer also became the first man ever to swallow a blank. <laughs> yeah. The gist of it is, first man ever to cross a gas station attendant's picket line. Also became the first man ever to swallow a blank. On this date in 1974... Just write it to my mother. I've got the answer in here. Oh, all right. <laughs> Irving Bricklemeyer became the first man ever to cross a gas station attendant's picket line. On this same date, Mr. Bricklemeyer also became the first man ever to swallow a blank. Nozzle. A nozzle. All right, that's good. Anything you'd find in a gas station, a squeegee, a nozzle, all that Anything stuff. Anything at all, and I certainly hope that Mr. Bricklemeyer is still around to tell the tale. I said he swallowed a gallon of gasoline. Oh, oh. boy, that must have hurt the next oh. day. What have you got? Listen, any man who would attack a pregnant woman in a gas line, as such thing happened in this very town about a year ago, had to swallow the whole tank. A gas tank? Aha. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. I said he swallowed the whole gas hose. The gas hose. hose. There it is. One for Rhonda. He became the first man ever to swallow a blank. <clears throat> now, I, I think this man... Gas pump. Gas pump. You, how do you pump gas, but with a thingy? The, a gas tank yeah. is different from a gas... She ate the how the hell would you know? Ate. He ate the whole, he yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Call it. Uh, we are differentiating here between the device, the, you know, the box where the motor and the mechanism yeah, and sure. the counter and all of that is contained. That's the pump. The nozzle part with the hose and all I'm that... I'm getting excited. Is... <laughs> All right, Bill. In 1980, Betty got, White. Uh, <laughs> he swallowed the, the, uh, what did he swallow? Oh, yeah. The hose, the pump, and the gas station. So I guess we got it all there, right? Oh. Wait a minute, there's hose. Wait a, wait a minute. The hose is right. Oh, the gas oh, hose. It only gives. Gas hose. It says the right here. The gas hose and the pump and gas the entire station. Gas hose and pump and station. Thank you, Gene. Really? Nice to have a fair host. I'm sorry to spit all your coats. <laughs> I got so nervous talking to Gene. That's, that's fair. I think he's good. Evan used to do that, too. <laughs> well, I think he's great. <laughs> may, all right. May I, have, uh, may I ask Brett a question? Yes. Certainly was yes. she pregnant when she got into the line? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. That's great. All right. Now, Jean, you got a little catching up to do. She already has three. Here it is. Ralph said that tavern owner doesn't trust anybody. He even has the blanks chained to the bar. Oh. <laughs> tavern owner doesn't trust anybody. He even has the blanks chained to the bar. Right. <laughs> Tavern owner, right. Oh. Mr. Cunch. Ralph said that tavern owner doesn't trust anybody. He even has the blanks chained to the bar. Cash register. Cash register. Well, a lot of them do oh, that. Now, now we are after something unusual here, Gene. Something you normally would not chain to the bar. What did you oh, say? I don't know what neighborhood uh, Gene goes to, but where I they chain the hookers to the bar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's in bad taste. I said the rug makers or hookers. Ah, okay. That's different, of course. No, actually, the hookers were drunk. Chained to the bar. Chained to the bar. <laughs> drunk. Even has the blanks chained to the bar. Oh, oh no. coming to me again. I said glasses. So they had to sit the store. I mean, well, that's where I get my exercise. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. You can chain down, it's not easy. Glasses, that's good. <laughs> you have to do, and touch your nose. Anyway, never mind. Go that? on, go Would on. Would you do no, that again? Never mind. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more time for the upper Would you chair. do that yeah. for the, uh, the $2 seats up You're here? You're going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, Bill. I forgot what the game was about. <laughs> oh, come on, Evan. Uh, I said the bartender changed to the bar. The bartender changed to the bar. That would that's make true. sense. What have you got? <laughs> The costumers. The costumers. The costumers. costumers. How come nobody's had potato chips? Waitresses? Pretzels? All those we things? Oh, oh, no. I mean, no, your, your we answers were good, but answers. there are a lot of good choices here. <clears throat> All right. So it's three to nothing at the end of round one. Uh, round two coming up later right now. This is for you. How much time do we have to kill here? No time to kill. Oh, no time to kill. So say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Join us next time for Thank Match Game. Gene Rayburn, so long. <laughs> On Play Mania, anything?
can happen. You guys want to get crazy? Thrills. Ooh, girl, yeah! Spills. Woo! <gasps> and those beautiful green bills. A hundred and fifty each! Five hundred dollars. When the games are live, you can't afford to miss a second. Now do I have your attention? Playing Mania, it pays to watch. Tonight at 12 midnight, 11 central, only on GSN.